Now the Tiguan's name is derived by blending the German words for tiger and iguana. As it stands, it's one of the few in the segment to offer a third row, and it does so in a classy package. While the Tiguan has plenty of room in the middle row, the third row is on the tight side. However, for kids it works and it sure beats walking in the snow. As for cargo space, it ranges from 340 litres behind the third row to 1860 litres when everything is folded flat. The Tiguan's cabin is a cut above the norm. Very nice materials, comfortable seats, a solid driving position and a very easy to use infotainment system. Now the knit has to do with the drive modes. It's very easy to switch between the terrain modes, but to switch between the basic driving modes, you have to keep punching a button and scroll through. To my mind, it will make sense to reverse the options so you can get to sport that much easier. Tiguan comes with a 2.0-litre turbo 4 that makes 184 horsepower and 221 pound-feet of torque. It drives all four wheels through an 8-speed automatic transmission. The combination works well. There's minimal turbo lag off the line and the transmission is quick to shift when sport mode is engaged. The lack of paddle shifters is disappointing. However, when comfort mode is selected, the transmission tends to be slow to downshift at times. This nit can be blamed on the quest for better fuel economy. Now at 8.1 seconds to 100k, the Tiguan is not the fastest in the segment, but it still does manage to feel remarkably sporty. The key, it boils down to the fact that peak torque turns up at just 1600 RPM. The Tiguan's plus is the four motion all wheel drive system. It uses an electro hydraulic coupling to send the power where it's needed. Under normal driving, it sends 90% of the power to the front wheels and 10% to the rear. However, as it it's constantly monitoring things for the first signs of slippage, it redirects the power quickly to the wheels with the best grip. During the test, it quickly dispensed with wheel spin, which added to the sense of security on some pretty slippery roads. The second generation Tiguan is a very nice package. It handles well, it's got lots of space without feeling bloated, it's suitably quick and up to the cut and thrust of everyday driving. It's also got that third row. No, you wouldn't want to sit there for a long time, but it works. I'm Graham Fletcher of Driving.ca and don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram.